Vamos lá, galera. Entrevista com a Karen Ross. Grandes expectativas aí. Novidade aqui pra gente. Ela acabou de chegar. Cruza os dedos para dar tudo certo. Que a gente vai oferecer esse conteúdo internacional aí em primeira mão para que você possa beber na fonte com autores que são grandes referências no mundo inteiro. Então, Karen Ross na área. Vamos começar a falar com ela. Cruza os dedos aí. Hello, Karen. Fine, and you? Very good, very good. Is everything okay there? Everything is uh, as good here as it can be. How is it there? Okay, great. First of all, I'm proud to talk with you and to have your knowledge here in our summit. We are very, very, very happy uh, to connect these points and show your knowledge to our students. Well, thank you very much. It's a great honor to be here and for you to invite me. I appreciate it. I would like to show your books here, all right? I have those, these, these two books, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They are, yeah, yeah. I have Yeah, I have an English one, yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah they, they are signed by you, right? Last year we've been together in Sao Paulo, and it was a great, a great experience at Six Sigma Summit. Yes. And, uh, Your, your book is a big bestseller about the Toyota Way. The Toyota Way becomes a very famous philosophy and it becomes a benchmark around the world. Uh, the, my first question is, what have made the Toyota Way this greatest reference of success? So I think that there are two things that are really important about thinking about the Toyota way. And the first is that it's a system, although we often think about it as tools, as flow, or as, you know, value stream maps, the truth is it's a system based first on long-term thinking and on purpose. So when you think about why your organization exists, whether manufacturing or whether you're a service organization, Toyota way is first based on what is the purpose that our organization exists in the world wider than just to make money, but how are we going to serve our customers and make a better world? And the second point really is around customers. So Toyota Way is very focused on customer needs. And let's think about this, whether you're a manufacturing business or whether you're a service organization, the truth is at the very basis, All organizations exist for one reason only, and they exist to serve customers. It's really simple. No customers, then you don't have any business. It doesn't matter whether you're making cars, whether you're a hotel, whether you're an airline. And in fact, in this COVID-19 time, we found all of this to be true. So Toyota Way, First and foremost, focuses on long-term purpose. Second, on what are the ways that we can flow value, the most effective, efficient way to our customers and thinking at every moment, what is our customer's needs? And especially in service, because service really means putting the needs of customers before our own. So I think that's really what makes Toyota Way most special, purpose, and focus on customer first. Great, that's great. Uh, so here we have another uh, uh, very used expression. It's called uh, customer centric. It's the way to think that customer is in the middle of everything and you have to take care of everything related on it. And uh, my second question is about our environment. Nowadays we are talking about a lot, a lot about COVID-19 and their impact the exponential growth of technology and their impact on the market. How do you see the impact of lean thinking in our global economy? Actually, I think it's even more important now to use lean thinking to actually have an impact. When you think about the way that um, Toyota started, it was at the time of a crisis for Japan. After World War II, Japan was decimated. And 
they needed a way not only to catch up to the rest of the world and the USA in manufacturing productivity, but also a way to repair the country. They were in a time and a situation where nobody knew what to do. Think about it. That's exactly what's happened to all of us. In one moment, our world changed from COVID-19. We were all working away and then suddenly we all have to be at home. Things that we previously thought were impossible. People said, oh no, there is no way to have everybody working at home and to serving our customers from home. There's no way we can go and see, go to the Gemba by, by video chat. All of those things that we know from Toyota Way, focus on customers, think about long-term purpose, flow value, concentrate on our processes, use our creativity to figure out how, those are all the things in the Toyota way that are gonna help us the most now. Now is when we need this the most. Yeah, for sure. That now it's more important than ever to think lean, to use te uh, techniques and methodologies to improve our results and getting better. I, I agree with you. Uh, we have that you, 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 we know that you have a project, it's called Women in Lean. I would like you to share with us how women are getting into this area. First of all, thank you so much for asking me about that because Women in Lean is something that I've been very passionate about for many years. I've gone to many conferences and oftentimes I'm the only woman speaking, but when I look out into the audience, I see at least 50% of the people who are coming to learn are women. And I decided what we need is to really raise the voices of Women in Lean. So I started the group Women in Lean almost one year ago. We are now a global group, 400 women from across the whole world. Our purpose is growth, personal and professional growth to help and support each other and we are a co-creative community. So although I and Crystal Davis and Dorsey Sherman are the founding mothers, everybody is allowed to start whatever kind of table or group that they want. So we're co-creative, we support each other, we have learning interchanges, we're going to be producing our own magazine and it's an unbelievably supportive community dedicated to helping women in lean whether they want to own their own business, whether they want to improve their skills and move up in their company. And actually, we have a special table for women in lean Latinas. And um, if you want more information about that, I'm always happy to give it at the end. Okay, great. Congrats for your job. It's amazing. 400 women. Uh, I'd like to understand more about it because uh, it's a challenge for us here to find out or and discover uh, women who love lean manufacturing, these methodologies, and I believe that we, we have to be together. Congrats again for it. Uh, my, my last question uh, is about the creativity. Experts say that creativity is one of the most important skills to a future professional. Uh, how, how to combine creativity and lean thinking to reach service excellence? So that's a, absolutely a great question. I don't come to the world of lean from the world of business. I come to the world of lean to the, through the world of art. So I actually have a master's degree in sculpture. So for me, PDCA, is the creative process. It's not just how we solve problems that we already had in the past. It's the way that we create new ways for the future. Think about the time we're in now. Customers who never want to hear the words, I can't, are in situations where we have no idea how to meet their needs. So our creativity, our ability to have divergent thinking, to think about many possible ways how we could do something and then try them out and see what's going to work, PDCA, that's really where we are now. So unbelievably important that we don't teach people just that lean is about finding the one root cause. It's really about creating 
all different new ways to work, which think about Toyota production system, all the new ways they've created to work. Sakichi Toyota, the grandfather of Toyota production system, is known as the king of inventors in Japan. And if you look at his five precepts, he actually talks about the need to be creative in them. That's really great. Let's go to our students' question, all right? I love it that you have student questions. I love it. Yeah, yeah, it's very great. It's the main purpose of our event, right? Our summit is to connect students to try to, to solve the, the, their problems, their doubts. That's the, our main point. They're our future. They're yeah, yeah, they're yeah, yeah, future. yeah, yeah. They are future and they are our clients, our customers. So we, we, we have to put them on the main point so that we can uh, help them to develop their skills, their career, all these things, all right? I love it. Yeah. The first student, the, the first question, how to combine lean methodology to new trends and technologies from Industry 4.0? Because so many people, especially since we've been home from COVID-19, have said to me, oh, but going to sea is such an important part of uh, lean. And now we cannot go to the Gamba, we can't go to sea. But of course we can go to sea. We can go to sea by video technology. I'm here near Chicago. You're all in Brazil, but we can see each other perfectly fine. When Toyota production system and Toyota Way started, we didn't have these kind of inventions. So what we have to do is stop thinking that we can only do things in the past and none of these new things have to do with the future. I think Taiichi Ono would have said, if you have to stay home, go and see by video technology. Today's customers want what they want, when they want, right the first time. They want it to be extremely easy for them to do. So think about all the technology where a customer can go online, type in exactly what they want. I just ordered some chocolates from Boston to be sent to a friend in Portland, Oregon as a birthday present. It was so simple. I can go online, I can put my order, I can pay, I get a confirmation, and I know that's going to be sent. So the easier we can make things for customers so that they can get what they want, when they want it, I think technology is a great help to make sure that we can actually flow value to customers. Great. Awesome. Uh, the second question, please. I'm looking forward to become a better lean professional. What advice would you give to someone who wants to reach the next level on, this, on his career? Here's my best advice. Practice, 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 practice. So confidence comes from doing and real learning comes from doing. So theory is great. Read books, go to courses, and then take what you learn and practice. And sometimes people say to me, but I don't have a job where my boss will let me improve a process at work. That's okay. Go home. When I started learning lean, I didn't have a business process to practice on, so I improved the way that I did laundry. Trying things out on your own, seeing what happens with your own two eyes, comparing that to the theory, that's the best way to learn. Great. I usually say that you need to practice it so that, uh, because only practicing, we can uh, reach results. Right, and so that's why it's very important, and there is nothing more important than the, our results for our career. All right, that's what means what really means. Practice, 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 practice. That is the most important thing in the beginning. You will not feel comfortable, you will know less by the end, you'll know more, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. You, you, as soon as you start to practice, you start to learn all the time, right. Learning, yes. learning by doing. There is expression right around this. Learning by doing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I believe it. Learning by doing. Great, Karen. Thank you very much for your presence today and all your knowledge that you share with us. 
I'm sure our students will enjoy it a lot. And we are, I'm very proud again to have you here. It's a, it's a, a new challenge of Voito, of my job, and it's a great opportunity to connect with, thing, with people around the world. And uh, I think that it was a great first experience uh, for us to have this interview and to, to, to get this knowledge for, for our students. Thank you very much again. You are very welcome, Muito Obrigada, and it is wonderful to be with you. I'm happy to help anytime. Obrigado a todos vocês que eu tenho certeza que cruzaram os dedos aí para fazer isso tudo dar certo. Foi a primeira de muitas entrevistas internacionais que a gente vai conduzir aqui na Voito. Começamos com o pé direito. Espero que você tenha gostado também. E fica ligado. Te vejo nas próximas.